Good morning. I get a fair amount of, <clears throat> nowadays it's called hate speech, but essentially it's a dissenting opinion on my, one of my top five videos, which is good news for women over 50. You're better off single. Well, maybe it's um, older than that for some of us, but if you've been in the dating pool available online, men, there's a reason why so many of us have come to that resolution, actually. We have to resolve to live a life solo rather than with a man who will actually add to life's problems and stress. And now I'm talking about older women, women who have perhaps never had children, women who have had children like myself, and women like myself who have been continually attracted to and attractive to uh, narcissists. Now, I have heard men say that if you hear about a woman and she's had three narcissistic relationships, she's probably the narcissist. And that is a myth. I don't even wish to um, say anything about other than I acknowledge it exists, which explains the comments that I receive that are from dissenting voices, we can probably guess the gender, who are more interested in a slewing an insult at me than listening to the entire video, reading any of the comments, reading my own personal statement. They are actually demonstrating why Women over a certain age are better off without a man in it when they resort to very unintelligent devices, which is slinging insults. So I've been called all kinds of things and we all know what most of women are called in today's world. Crazy, you're a crazy bitch. So I did a little research on it and we'll talk about that. It's uh, news to men, uh, crazy bitch no longer works on us. Mm. Good morning, listen to the birds while we have a little talk. This is gonna be just a nice soothing talk, I'm outside. And I've done my morning pages which Julia Cameron suggests. And it is what I recommend also for people who are healing from uh, a childhood of narcissistic abuse to really write down words that help you through your day-to-day -day life. So, goodness gracious. <laughs> Let's see, where do I start? If you look at what a crazy bitch actually is, uh, it's the sixth most, um, sixth single by an American rock band called Buck Cherry. Mm -hmm. And it was released in uh, January 31st, uh, 2006. And in their Urban Dictionary, uh, a crazy bitch is any female that has more emotional problems than LaToya Jackson. Yeah, bitch is one thing, crazy bitch is another. And again, it is used so often, we bitches are immune. Now, even though it is considered the ultimate insult. Um, let's see if there's anything I wanna say here. No, that's a different subject, okay. So I woke up this morning and while I was um, editing, I've been editing my uh, video on when I was recollecting uh, 
and that could be spelt with W-R-E-C-K, the wreck of my childhood. When I was recollecting what it was like being in a position of having your inner authority actually brutally myrtleized, as they'd say, in the Three Stoogers. So, when you're at the age between three and five, uh, that's an, an important part in Erickson's uh, stages of development. Eric Erickson um, has some useful information. And again, not all people have all answers and not all people have 100% of everything correct. But when you're doing self-work, when you're looking into why is it that I attracted these narcissists? Why was it that I tried and tried and tried my best to make these poor bastards happy and yet it all failed? Well, number one, uh, we gave up ourselves just to be with them and then we continue to do it. And that's because that was part of our childhood conditioning. Um, because it's initiative versus guilt. You have a purpose, okay? Our purpose was always to please the mother. So we had lost our own sense of purpose. And in fact, I was told verbally that I did not um, know it yet, but I would soon find out I was not the center of the universe. She made me cry telling me this, and she kept going on and on about it. I was the only child at home. My three older siblings were at school and this woman was a kindergarten teacher and I was in a kindergarten and she was not my teacher, but we would go to school every day and she would go to one classroom and I'd go to the other. I was always with this woman. So she had plenty to say to me and I was not happy about the things she said to me. And as an adult, I now understand her reasoning, which was because she's selfish, controlling, pathologically narcissistic person who would rather break her own daughter and create that dependency than to allow her daughter to have her own purpose. That's pathological. So that's where we are going to relearn how our own personal initiative of our own lives are important and not to shelve our lives for the relationship, which is usually what we do as empaths. Um, those that are recovering from a childhood of narcissistic abuse and relationships. Oh, a little word on the abuse that comes on my video. Um, good news for women over 50, you'll be happier off single. I just pluck the garden, I pluck those comments. And I've been through hell already, so they're really um, impotent comments. They're benign, as they say. But it does, it proves my point that we are better off. You know, if you guys really wanted a woman in your life, you would listen to my videos and you would ask me questions and you might even send me um, money for a personal counseling session rather than being the horny bastards that you are to us crazy bitches. So the next thing we learn um, between five and 12 is our own competency and it's industry versus inferiority. Industry versus inferiority. And uh, if you had a mother like mine, um, she yelled at you if you didn't get something right, right away. And so I actually, in my peer group, built my self-esteem because that was the only place I was safe. Now, you, um, between the ages of three and five, that um, virtue that we talked about, a purpose, it's stunted by the narc parent through criticism and control because then the child actually feels guilty for their own self. Their own self-initiative gets thwarted. They feel guilty for having that need. I was, again, told other people had needs. I wasn't the center of the universe. What was that telling me about my own needs at five? I felt guilty for having needs. I then felt like a nuisance to others. And so now, as an adult, I'm learning a healthy purpose. And 
in all honesty, one of my main purposes is to help women who have been abused in narcissistic relationships not become further abused by so-called horny bastards that it's their fault they're the ones that that's where the awful people uh in fact it, it is their fault but not because they're the awful people it's the empath's fault for because they were too good it's the empath's fault because they're too nice so my purpose is actually to have people pull up a cup of kappa you know listen learn something enjoy life learn to ground listen to the birds tweeting soothes your nervous system make sure you're getting enough nutrients i'm not a nutritionist but i can coach that too but i have to make that claim i have no certifications or medical degrees Yeah. Um, so while it's disheartening, but not too much. So when I get a person online of the um, biological leaning towards the male species, um, you all ought to listen to what I have to say and really question yourselves about why are you so angry? Really, and because I figure you're probably narcissistic and you feel entitled to a woman's body because society has led you to believe that you, you have the right to have access to her body, you all have this inability to actually understand us crazy bitches. And we're going to talk about the etymology of that as well as bastards. And I got to tell you, it's far worse to be a bastard than a crazy bitch, especially the worst kind is the horny bastard. <laughs>